With the necessity of oral communication, traditional games have shown advantages in cultivating players' social skills. Recently, with the widespread of consumer-oriented virtual reality devices, remote traditional games have also been introduced to the post-pandemic era. Meanwhile, individual difference in manipulation proficiency can lead to unintended gaps in play skills and thus jeopardize the communication quality between players. To compensate for such gap, we investigate the effectiveness of a facilitative agent. The facilitative agent is able to provide handicaps based on the game dynamics. We introduce Japanese traditional game, Daruma Sanga Koranda. The rules of this game are similar to another traditional game, red light, green light. First, the game has a player and a computer controlled it. While the it says that Daruma Sanga Koronda, the player can move. After it says Daruma Sanga Koronda, it turns around. At this time, the player must not move. If the player moves, the game fails and the player must start over from the beginning. Finally, the player touches the it to clear the game. Additionally, we introduce the concept of obstacles. During gameplay, obstacles are placed by other players. The player need to avoid these obstacles to clear the game. In our recreation, there are two players. One is moving player who plays the VR game. Other is disturbing player who places the obstacles in the game. Then, we explain how to manipulate the VR game for the moving player. There are two types of manipulations, moving and jumping. First, moving is executed by swinging the arm back and forth as like running. Next, jumping is only possible when an obstacle appears. To execute jumping, the player moves both hands from the back to the front. The disturbing player can perform two types of actions, placing an obstacle or a feint. The action, placing an obstacle, causes a banana-shaped 3D object covered in blue smoke to appear in front of the game player. In contrast, a feint action produces only blue smoke without an accompanying obstacle. Finally, we investigated the effect of deliberate handicaps by a facilitative agent on the interaction between the players. We asked pairs of participants to play a game based on Daruma Sanga Koronda. The participants competed for a game score, the time taken to clear the game. The questionnaire results reveal that participants generally had a positive and engaging experience with the game across both conditions. However, the distribution of participants' responses is different between condition.